is Prophetess Jerusha. And I'm glad to be with us this morning on commanding your day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always a, a privilege and an honor to appear before the Lord in gratitude for his faithfulness for every minute, every second, and every hour. Life is spiritual. And it's important to know that it takes God to survive every minute, every second, and every hour. So wherever you're joining in from, it may not be morning for you, but maybe night, maybe midday. But it's important to know that appearing before the Lord strengthens you every day and every time for the next season, for the next moment of your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, it's, it's commanding your day. And if this is your very first day, if this is your very first time joining in here, amen. amen. If this is your very first time joining in here, you can do what to subscribe. You can do what to touch notification bells and you can share with friends as well and tell somebody that we are before the Lord. Amen. Please do well to indicate your presence. Do well to indicate your presence wherever you're watching from is a is a comment section open yes, do well to indicate your presence and tell somebody that we are before the lord let us pray father we thank you we give you glory we give you honor for you are god and there is no one like you you were faithful in all your ways lord we thank you for your kindness we thank you for your love we thank you for your peace, mighty man in battle. You are great. Thank you for your authority upon our lives. Thank you for your wisdom and grace, your power and efficiency. For it is through you that we can do all things. So we are glad about that. And we are here to say thank you for fighting our battles. Mm. On sin battles have been fought. And here we are standing because we have victory in Christ. Amen. We thank you for the power in the cross that keeps us going, keeps us doing, keeps mm. us able every minute, every second, and every hour. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father, for who you are to Thank us. You, we are here this morning to say we love the way you father us. Amen. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Mm. Thank you, Rose of Sharon. Amen. Thank you, the beginning and the end. Amen. Thank you, the most loving Father. Amen. Thank you, the Lord, our peace. Mm. Thank you, the Lord, our hope. Amen. Thank you, the Lord, our righteousness. For it is by your mercies that we are not consumed. Amen. A very present help in time of need. That evening and morning and noon, whenever we cry aloud, you hear us and you wipe away our tears. The God that justifies us. The God that has given us a right standing with him. We recognize the fact that righteousness to us is a gift. And we appreciate to you for gifting us that much. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lion from the tribe of Judah. Amen. Thank you, the hope of our lives. Amen. Thank you, the God that showeth mercy. Thank you, the God that defends us. Thank you, the God that fights our battles. Thank you, Lord. 
Baba. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous to our sights. We rejoice before our Maker this morning, for great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Lebregede zaga, ragade zagada, robobo zagada, rababa rigada. The Lord a healer, the Lord a redeemer. Lebaba lira robobo siaba, lehi rababa lianda hai. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Behekei dada, zakatei da bakaiya, rugadei bababa leita kamahantia, rukatai nama sandia. Reketei na masungalai, rubabai kadina na shanda, rababa lekede bosaba, rababa shikada by the You are awesome in all your ways. You are awesome in all your ways. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the testimonies. For we are standing here because you made a way. Thank you. Shakaya Masahalaba. Thank you. Rabababa Lekede Basadia. Thank you. Lima Kunde Bebes Kelemi Antikadosha. Thank you. Bare Katida Huzabatai Kedea. Thank you. Robobobo Sadia Ratei Bakaidi. Thank you, Jesus. Rababa Likadida Bashababa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Rose of Sharon. Thank you for everyone connected this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the grace and the ability to appear before you this morning. We hail Jesus as King. Thank you, Thank you our comforter and our friend. Amen. Our hope and our righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you the God that redeems us from destruction. Amen. You have caused our cup to run over. Amen. For you anoint our head with oil. Yes, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Blessed be the great I am that I am. Amen. Be lifted above all the names. Amen. We lay our crowns and we worship you. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. Amen. The Lord God Almighty. Amen. Faithful from generation to generation. You, we exalt you for the gift of a morning. Yes, Blessed be your name, Lord. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Make it a loud one. Amen. Make it a louder word. Amen. 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 I hope you did join us and in thanking the Lord this morning. And as you're joining in this morning, do all to share Thank and you. tell somebody that we are alive and we are before the Lord this morning. Do all to share and to tell someone that we are alive. And that we are before the Lord this morning. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Share, share on your status, share on your timeline. Take off some time to share. Take off some time to share. Just take off some time to share. As I'm speaking very quickly, just click on the link and share. Click on the link and share. Amen. And tell someone that we are in the presence of the Lord. God Almighty, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Please begin to share. Begin to share. If we have Daryl there, Daryl, are you there? Give us Proverbs 6, 6 to 11. Daryl, if you're there, you can give us the scriptures. Proverbs 6, welcome, Nyemba Kemba. God bless you. Share, everybody. Share and tell somebody that we are live and before the Lord this morning. Proverbs 6, I think we're going to be taking... We're going to be taking the scripture, I think, for two days. So today we're taking from 6, Proverbs 6, from 6 to 8. Proverbs 6, from 6 to 8. Welcome once more to our month of victory. Amen. Welcome once more to our month and a season of victory. Amen. And many are the things that the Lord is doing. Amen. So uncountable. We are privileged to be part of what God is doing this season. So please do well to... Do well to... Share and tell somebody that we are alive. Please, if Daryl is there, Daryl can give us a... Daryl, you can give us a sembang petikta. God bless you. Daryl, you can give us Proverbs 6, from 6 to 8. Proverbs 6, we're going to be having a, one of the major keys we need for the season in line with what the Lord is saying. 
Proverbs 6 from verse 6 to 8. It says, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no captain, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in summer and gathers her food in the harvest. I read it again. It says, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no captain, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. This morning, I want to give us one of the major keys that will enable us to be able to access victory or to be able to walk in victory. When, the, when, when God speaks of victory, I've always said every time the word of the Lord for every season and for every month is like the, 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 it's like the, it's like the promised land. It's like the promised land, you know, for that season. The word of the Lord to us for each season is, is the bearing, is the focus. It's where God expects us to be. It's where God wants us to be. Now, it's important to know that God can want for you what you don't want for yourself. Mm -hmm. Why? Because his word has ever been. His word always is. His word is active, sharper than a two-edged sword. I mean, before you were born, these promises were actually already written in the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, what God can want for you what you don't want for yourself. What do I mean? It's different from, you know, I mean, what do I mean? It's another thing to, 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 to receive the word of the Lord or a prophetic word. And it's another thing to be positioned for the fulfillment of that word. A lot of people have lost it due to dispositioning. A lot of people have lost the blessings of God. Not because God did not speak, but because they, they, they shifted from where they should be. They, a, a loser, of course, you should remember that one of God's major problems with Adam and the garden was a function of dispositioning. Okay? Because when God came to the garden, the first thing he asked Adam, where are you? That was one of the first questions that God asked Adam. Where, in other words, I didn't, I didn't meet you where I kept you. In other words, when I keep you here, there are other factors that would align to, you know, making you become who I, I, I said you will become and should become. So we cannot downplay the place of spiritual, geographical location in the program of the Lord. I repeat, we cannot downplay. For example, there is somebody who just had to be here this morning on commanding your day and hear this word from my mouth. That will bless them and usher them to another level in life. Amen. So we can never and ever downplay we can never ever downplay the place of spiritual geographical location. Mm -hmm. It is very important where you are, look, where your spirit is located. I mean, where you are positioned, in where you are positioned has a lot to do with what aligns, you know, to having you, you know, it has a lot to do with the things that will come together. That's what I'm trying to say. The things that will come together and make you, the things that will come together. You know, and form a whole. So it is important when, we, when the Lord speaks of victory, it's important to ask yourself, how do, I, how do I position myself? To what must I do? Now, when the Lord speaks, it's not magical. The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. When the Lord speaks, it's not a magical thing. It's it's our responsibility. After, the, after a prophecy comes, what? A responsibility on your part. What must I do to be positioned? So the Lord does what he has said he would do in my life. And this morning, the Lord says, go to the ant, ye slogger. This morning, the Lord says, go to the ant, ye slogger. Mm -hmm. Go to the ant, ye slogger. Who's a slogger? A lazy person, a reluctant person. Somebody who is so lagadacious or lagadistical in the way you pursue life, in the way you chase purpose, in the way you... It says, go to the ant, ye slogger. The word I came for you this with, I came with for, for you this morning is go to the ant he slogger go to the ant he slogger and consider her ways and the wise every time god makes an allusion every time the bible is called a biblical allusion to life things every time there is an allusion to to common things to the things that we relate with every day every time god begins to allude eg god says go to the deer and you know, as the DEG, as the deer pants for water, so are souls long after righteousness. Every time those allusions come in, oh my God, like a blackout here. Every time those allusions come in, this is interesting. Now, every time those allusions come in, it's important.
important. It simply means God is taking your attention. It simply means God is taking your attention to that animal or to that creature. In other words, if you can know how that creature functions, you will know how to have that thing. Mm. Go to the ant simply means understand well, how the ant functions, how the ant functions. And then I like the word later. It says you slogger. Point number one, the ant is not lazy. If you must lay hold of victory this season, you must kick out laziness from your life. Mm. Please, if I still have somebody listening to me, if I still have you listening to me, I want to have a feedback from you. Amen. If you must lay hold of victory this thing, you must quit lazy Christianity. Mm. You must quit magical Christianity. Mm. You must quit dramatic Christianity. Amen. And you must be positioned at the place of work. You must be positioned at the place of work to lay hold of what God has for you. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Verse number six says, go to the ants, you sluggers. Consider her ways. So how do you know the ways of an ant? Oh, you're crying of lots of this and that. I don't have this. I don't have that. Are you an ant? Have you considered the ways of, have you sat to study? In, in biology, it's, 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 we call them arthropods. We call insects. I mean, every species insect and, and, and we, they, are, they are called arthropods. Okay. Go to, th go to them. Now, why do we go out for secular education? Some people don't know that that also helps us in understanding the scriptures. Most of the times when I mentor people, I tell them that literature is studied in school, that geography is studied, whatever you studied in school was to, was to help you understand the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Was to help you to understand the scriptures. The problem is that sometimes we don't know what we have studied when we are approaching the scriptures. We, we, you know, we just read and it's, it's, it's go to the end simply means go to kingdom and phylum something. Go to arthropods. Find out what an, an ant is just one of the many insects we have. And of course, an ant is the most common. I like the species they've used in the scripture. An ant is the most common one we can find. You can find an ant in your house. It's very easy. You know, as we speak now, if some of you looking at me, you may, you may, some of you, some of you looking at you may actually see an ant. It could be a sugar ant. It could be an insect that comes out of juice. It could be an insect that's coming after one sweet thing or the other. Just in your kitchen, just go to an ant yeast log and then begin to ask yourself, I've been to bed the past hours, but this ant didn't go to sleep. Every time you see an ant, it's always busy about something. Every time you see an ant, it's always busy about something. People who are truly busy don't focus on, on rubbish. People who are truly busy in life, they have a focus. They have a purpose. They're going somewhere. And not everything concerns them. And not everything really matters for them until it really matters. People who are focused going somewhere, what matters is what actually matters. And what doesn't matter really doesn't concern them. At the moment in your life, when you see yourself beginning to poke your nose into things that don't concern you, it's an indication that you're idle. You have lost your position. There is a dispositioning and it's difficult to find victory. When you lose your position, it's difficult. You, you are barely struggling. When the devil begins to occupy you with things that are not supposed mm -hmm. to be your business, you are losing position. And when you lose position, there is no alignment. And when there is no alignment, you could be moving around in circles and never get it right. If you must have victory this season, you must be focused, fully positioned. And not just focused, fully positioned, but you must be hardworking. Go to the ant. When the ant steps out each day, it focuses on the stuff that concerns them. You have the ones that are looking for food, the ones that are looking for... If it's, if it's building time, you have all of them are committed to building. All of them are committed to building. All of them are, if it's time to go get food, all of them are committed. And that is why when we're talking about kingdom economy, one of the species we must focus on is the ant. When we're talking about, I mean, the business world, economy, one of the people we must study, one of the species that we must look at is the ant. The ant give you a typical picture of the business world. You want to succeed in business, you must study the life of an ant. How does he say consider her ways and be wise? It means you're foolish without considering the ways of an ant. It means you are foolish. Say so consider so when we study the ant and we begin to understand how the if you read from they say they, they, they gather their food in summer. They they know when to save, they know when to do what, they know when to brand, they know when to upgrade, yeah. they know who to include in their lives, they know who to work with, they know who to partner with. 
These are things that we need to consider. It says, consider her ways and be wise. It says, which having no over ruler, which having no ruler over them. Oh, come on. Listen, the biggest test of life that God ever gave you is your adulthood or whatever we call it. I mean, the, the biggest, the, my, so my children, the Lord used to say adulthood is a scam. Because you have all your time to yourself. That's you have true. all your decisions to yourself. That's yet true. you are responsible for the next five years of your life. It's important to know that. Yeah, God over all. But in the next 10, 5 years, you will be a product of the decisions you either made or you didn't make. That's right. You will be the product of decisions you either made or you didn't make. Sometimes you'll be an outcome of some foolish relationships, relationships you created. Or an outcome of some profitable relationships you created. And have a mind of your own, their own. And have it's difficult to succeed in life without a mind of your own. Mm -hmm. Is somebody getting me this morning? Yes, ma'am. It's difficult to succeed. It's difficult to have victory without a mind of your own. Since so they have no ruler, yet they have a mind of their own. In other words, you must be able to take initiative. I know I'm pretty good this morning. Make take your make your let your amen be loud. Amen. You must be able to take initiative. Yes, ma'am. Come out of the team of lazy people. Come out from the team of lazy people. Come out from the team of people who sit and all the time what concerns them is other people's business. Mm. The ant is too focused to even understand, I mean, to be distracted. Is somebody getting me this morning? Yes, ma'am. Is somebody getting me this morning? Yes, ma'am. If you must lay hold of victory, you must be focused. You must be focused. Yes, you must be a person that takes initiative. You must be a person that takes initiative. The Bible says they have no ruler or overseer. But they know it's raining. They know that the sun is up. They know it's summer. They know how can an ant know seasons and then human beings don't know seasons. How can an ant know seasons and you don't know the right season to take some ventures in that business? Mm. How can an ant know when to gather and you don't know when to gather? How can an ant know how to manage and you don't know how to manage the system that you, you, you have? No matter the title you bear, there are things if you can't manage, that business is never going to grow. If you like, you attach two CEOs to your appellation. If you are like, you attach two, I mean, if, if you don't apply the skills that should, should be applied, mm. should be applied, mm. you're still not going to have the victory. Your prophecy may be as big as the ark of Noah, mm. but there are things that if you don't sit down to diligently walk in, I'm sorry, you may walk around thinking that the prophecy was false, whereas it was you that was false. Mm -hmm. Most of the times you are so false that you think that it's God that is false. It is not God, his word is true. If it was never even prophesied to you through a human being, you will read it in his word. He it says, it let, it said, it says, let every man be a liar, let his word be true. Even if nobody ever gave you a one-on-one -on -one prophecy on your prosperity in life, it is spelled out in the word of God. Mm. Yes, it's just that God has to use his, his servants as voices to vocalize it to you. Sometimes God has to relate with us in the manner we best can, you know, we best can receive. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm communicating with somebody. Yes, of a truth, if you position yourself, I told somebody, if you are well positioned, the next phase of your life becomes a reality, more of a reality than just a prophecy. I hear you. More, more of a reality than just a prophecy. Mm. I want you to sit down this morning and begin to calculate. We are about how many months gone now? Are we eight months gone? Yes, ma'am. We are about eight months gone. And I want to ask you, have you been diligent in your ways? Have you been applying these things? Have you been applying these things that we are sharing this morning? It says she provides her supplies in summer and gathers her food in the harvest. Which means in the life of an ant, there's never lack. How comes ants are not lacking? Then we who are rambashing, reboshing, we, we get into seasons where there is lack. What is happening? We catalambano and biazo. Yet we get into seasons where the lack that we are suffering to, I mean, to go join cults. Yet because of lack, you can sell anybody just to look for money. You can trade anything. You can literally look at me like that and bundle me and sell somewhere just because we want to make profit. How comes? How do we find ourselves there? How did we find ourselves? How do we get to that place where we become so desperate for money, so desperate, so desperate that an ant is barely applying principles and is thriving and is succeeding? 
Oh, I know I'm preaching good this morning. I know I'm preaching good this morning. Ants that does not speak in tongues. Ants that does not have Mama J speaking over their life. Ants, 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 ants. Ants, ants that are even priestless. Never seen. What's happening? I don't have, I don't have, I don't have internet. Rekobobo shababa yaba. Ants that I have never seen. Attending any mass. It says, consider the, it's, it's her God. These are people that don't live in, they, they don't lack anything. They don't lack anything. How did we get here? Please, we need to review. We need to revise. We need to get back to sitting down and calculating. After we pray, after we study the word, after, we are supposed to be more productive than ants. We are supposed to be. Because the Holy Spirit and all these things I have actually named that the ant doesn't have should be an addition to make us explode mm. in life. I mean, it should be an added advantage. Let me use that expression. It should be an added advantage to make us become bigger, better. How do we find ourselves here? There is a distraction somewhere. There is a dispositioning somewhere. And this morning, the Lord is taking us back to that place. The Lord is taking us back, positioning for being positioned for victory. Amen. This word this morning is positioning somebody for victory. Amen. This word this morning is positioning somebody for victory. Amen. You've got to pick up your focus. You've got, you've got to pick up your focus. You've got to pick up your diligence. Amen. You've got to do the things that you should do. If you need to read more, read more. If you need to do research more, research more. If you need to develop yourself, develop yourself. This word is a wake up as we step out of bed this morning. Amen. We should know that we have a part to play. We should know that as long as we are in the earth realm, as long as we are on earth, we have a part to play. Mm. We have a part to play. Mm. As a matter of fact, even from, from creation, we have always had a part to play. Mm. Even when Adam was placed in the garden, he was given responsibility to take care of the garden. So as beautiful as the garden was, as stressless as it was for Adam to have whatever he wants to have in the garden, he still had a responsibility. Adam still had a responsibility to take care of the garden. So there is no time in creation where we have not really had a part to play. Right back in the New Testament, where grace has come and mercy has come, you see at the Bible says we should work out our salvation with fear and trembling. So we need to be aligned. We need to be positioned. And so sometimes it's important to ask the Lord, not just God, what are you doing for me? It's what, also ask God, God, what can I do this season? Now I'm faced with this. What are the necessary steps? And then if you don't hear a voice, take an initiative. If you don't hear a voice, take an initiative. Trust God's creative abilities in you to be able to take initiative. It's better to fail taking an initiative to never have taken it than to never have taken at all. That's what I'm saying. It's better to fail taking an initiative because sometimes success is a cumulative effect of past failures. Every great achiever is somebody who at the point failed at a step. And so when you fail, it doesn't mean God has failed. It doesn't mean his, his, his word is a lie. Oh, God, they, the Lord gave me a prophecy and I'm going to own a business. So I got a capital and I started a business and it has failed. Listen, it's part of the school. It's part of the training. It's part of the process. It fortifies your faith. Sometimes some failures even verify if you really believe what God said. Mm -hmm. Because to somebody who believes you will be steady. Yes, and then you will go to the ants. Mm. Haven't you seen ant? Listen, we are humans and we are really have dominion over these creatures. Haven't you scattered an ant house? And after a few days, you came back and saw that house erected back at that very position. Oh, I don't know if you, it's a raining season and most of those things happen in the raining season, sometimes even in the dry season. Have you, have you never scattered an ant house, like mm -hmm. an, a, a house built by insects? It's like, you're, it's like you're actually doing a back and forth with them. Mm -hmm. You crush it. The next day, sometimes you wake up to having it built. Yes. Listen, there are times you've got to take your life like that. Don't let everything crush you and you lie on the ground and crying, crying your mother, crying your father, crying your background and blaming yourself for what? No, 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 no. If it breaks, get up and build it. Get up and build it. it oh, kadabosh, shadabayaha. 
survivor. Ants are always finding out other means. You cannot even kill all of them. They are so invasive. They are so invasive. Oh, Rababa. The problem with you watching me is that you have it, but you can't invade. You are not invasive. You are not aggressive. At a point, life requires a degree of aggression. Oh, Rababa, Bosha, Bababaya. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violent. Only the violent shall take it by force. Yes. Listen, when we talk about the violent taking it by force, it's not just spiritual warfare. It's, it's physical aggression. It is physical. You got to be aggressive in business. Mm -hmm. You got to be aggressive in ministry. Yes, you got to be aggressive in everything that you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't be live for some days because I had a little cold. Like my voice was literally blocked. The moment I got a little clear of this morning, I'm back on air and we are live on this session. We got to get going. We got to get going. Because no matter what God has called you to do, if you are lazy, you will not succeed. No, even if even if God makes you the chairman, he, even if God makes you his personal advisor in heaven, mm -hmm. if you are lazy in anything, mm -hmm. oh, Basha, he says he's not unworthy to forget your labor of love in that you have ministered and you do minister. Mm -hmm. So I've got to know even as a servant of God that my reward and my blessings come as a result of the fact that I minister and I do minister. Yeah. You got to know, you don't just sit on one spot. Oh, and of a truth, once you get on the things you got to do, there's no way you'll not be blessed. That's right. Once you get on the things that God wants you to be doing, once you get busy, I could have this word. If I didn't, if, if I closed my mouth, you will not hear it. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible says, a man's gift makes way for him and will bring him before kings. So it's not just having that gift, it is expressing that gift and then it will bring blessings into your life. Yeah. Now, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting saying, I speak the truth. I'm telling you the truth, I'm categorical. I'm a straightforward person when I minister. That is the truth. That is the truth. So you can wear four clericals, but if you are not positioned to be on it, yeah. if you are not on it, if you are not on it, mm -hmm. if you are not on it, you will still wake up and think that you you have a foundational something fighting you. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I know that this word is blessing somebody this morning. Yes, ma'am. I know that this word is going to change the life of somebody today. Yes, it's get up. Get up from sleep. Get up from slumber. Get up from excuses and take your life by force today. Oh, it's commanding the day, and I'm almost, I'm almost taking us straight away into a, a very, very big conference. I thought we were just going to command the day. But I want to thank God because I know that God is speaking to somebody. This is what somebody needs to walk in victory today. This is what somebody needs to walk in victory today. Mm -hmm. If you read the books of great achievers, you'll be shocked their processes. These were men and women with a great prophecy mm -hmm. over their lives. Some of them were men and women. I mean... Even with legacies from their parents, but they needed to sit up and work it out. They needed to sit up and work it out. They needed to stick, sit up and work it out. This one, if this idea didn't work, try this one. It's okay to make an error on some days. It's okay to feel less achieved on some days, but don't stop doing it. Don't you ever looked at an ant? There are times I, I, I literally sit sometimes. You look at an ant, it's walking. It hits the wall, it changes direction. Mm -hmm. And then it moves again. It hits another object. It doesn't stop moving. It changes direction. It, you know, it's so unstoppable. Sometimes I'm looking at an ant, I'm like, do you even know where you are going? Listen, when you are busy about your life sometimes, no matter the confrontations you have that make people feel like you don't know where you are going, still yeah. trust your process. Woo. Still trust your process. Still trust your destination. Oh, come, come on. on. 
Come on, come on. Another thing is that you all, you want your life to look like another person's life. You have your life to live. Yeah. Stop living like life is group work. You have your life to live. Oh, Rabba Shaya. It's only a group when you are with the people that are going your direction. Yes, mother. It's only a partnership when there is a vision that binds you people together. It's only a partnership when purpose is in place. But as long as purpose is not in place and it's it, the rest of the thing is gallivanting and making noise, it, it, does, it, does, it doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't count. And if you understand these things, you will know how to choose the people that are going your direction. You will discover that it's not everybody that you need in your life. Go to the aunt yes slogger. Consider her ways and be wise. Go to the anti slogger. This is a uh, this is this is this is this is a this is a thunderbolt of how can I put it of victory this morning. Go to the anti slogger. Consider her ways and be wise. We're going to end it at verse eight today, and I'm trusting the Lord that tomorrow morning we're going to continue from from here. It says they have no overseer or ruler. Isn't it even ridiculous that we have people over us who can even help guide us? The Bible says in a multitude of counselors, there is the voice of God, there is wisdom. Isn't it ridiculous that we are even surrounded with people that can from time to time tell us, give us ideas, yet we are not still productive? Isn't it challenging? This, 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 is, a, this is something to challenge us this morning. That we are, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are surrounded with, I mean, even with books to read, with mentors with pastors, with spiritual authorities. Oh my God. It's very touching. Yet, yet we, we are where we are. This is a word to trigger, to challenge somebody this morning. To challenge somebody this morning. That in the next 10 years, you will not blame anybody Shataya, for the outcome of your life. Focus on your stuff. Stop going about people's focus on your stuff. Somebody's asking the scripture, a Proverbs 6 from verse 6 to 8. Proverbs 6 from verse 6 to 8. Listen, all the people that you admire and they look like they're magical are people who have literally applied these keys in one way or the other. There are people who have literally applied the things I'm teaching us this morning in one way or the other. I was talking with somebody yesterday, very great person that visited me at my residence. And the person said, I have followed you through the years. And one thing that I, I, that I, I, I admire, one thing that, 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 that is a pull factor is the fact that you are composed and steady and focused on what you're doing. I'm serious. As a matter of fact, I'm not saying I'm perfect, but by God's grace, I am who I am today. Of a truth, what doesn't concern me doesn't concern me. What doesn't concern me doesn't concern me. I was so shocked. Physically, I never met this person. But the person said, I was drawn to you. The person said, I was, I mean, I've literally followed you. And the person started saying, I follow you on this platform. I followed you on this platform. I followed you on this platform. And I must say, I admire your composure. You can't be everywhere. You can't be everywhere and have it. You just have to be somewhere persistent for time. I've made up my mind. That for anybody that comes close to me in life, one thing I must contaminate you with is a strong sense of focus. Yes, you learn it by induction, by conduction, by atmosphere, by... Yes. Yes. It's important. If we could also build the culture of positively influencing our, our loved ones with some virtues we have built through the year, I think we're going to make the world a better place. A better place. So we're going to the ants this morning. We're going to learn her ways. We're going to learn its ways. Good morning, Frank Zuma. We're going to learn. Sorry for those who are joining us late. We're wrapping up with this session. <laughs> but by God's grace, I promise us at least my throat is clear. My voice is out. I promise us by tomorrow morning, we're going to be here again on the subject. God bless everybody for joining in this morning. Go to the ants ye sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. 
Consider her ways and be wise. Amen. Consider her ways and be wise. Amen. The moment you are the one that hosts gossip, know you are an I how do know you are an idle person. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna help us even from the book of Mike Modoc to teach us exactly who is a fool and who is an idle person. Every time in life that gossip center around you, every time in life that irrelevant things are centered around you, it is an indication that you are an idle person. And Mike Modoc says. An idle person is a fool. It's Mike Mudok that said it, not me. But I pray for you this morning that as we consider the ways of ants, we are rising into the wisdom of God. Amen. As we consider the ways of ants this morning, we are rising into the wisdom of God. Amen. Make your amen loud as somebody. Amen. Make your amen loud as somebody. Amen. From today, by this light, your life has changed. Amen. By this word, your life has changed. Amen. I pray for somebody who has been trying and failing. I declare and I decree this morning that grace prevails over you. Amen. May the Lord encourage you. May the Lord strengthen you by this word this morning. Amen. May you be empowered by the scriptures this morning. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You've tried and tried and tried and you're feeling weak and freckled and, and I mean, you're feeling like you, you, you're going to give up. I am here this morning on the altar of prayer to encourage you. Amen. You are a person that doesn't know how to take initiative in a busy world today i command your intellect open I let your see. mind open i pray for divine intelligence let ideas flood your mind amen let ideas flood your mind amen. Oh, i pray for somebody whose focus has been deviated may you come back into alignment this morning amen i pray for somebody under attack by the spirit of laziness mm. I pray for deliverance for you this morning in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for deliverance for you this morning Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The ideas that will make your gift productive to, 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 to make your life beautiful. I pray you receive them this morning. Amen. Every Amen. divine idea. That will help you be able to harness your gift Amen. in a manner that it will bring blessing to your life. Amen. Receive it this morning. I receive. Listen, the other day the Lord spoke to me. He said, when I give you a gift, I don't manage it for you. You manage it. Mm. He says, my own is to gift you. Your own is to, right. is to harness it. Is to manage your gift properly. I pray for somebody. I pray for somebody. You're coming out of complexes. You're coming Amen. out of Amen. you're coming out of stereotypes. You Amen. you are coming out. I pray that this season you will lay hold of victory Amen. by the hearing of God's word. Amen. By the hearing of God's word this Amen. morning. By your receiving of this word, it is life. I declare it has brought life to your destiny. Amen. It has brought life to your purpose. Amen. Rise up and not just walk, but work. Amen. Rise up and not just walk, but work. Amen. The Bible says the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Mm -hmm. Which means before you sleep, ask yourself if you have labored. Yeah. The Bible says the sleep of a laboring man is sweet. Which means before you sleep for six hours, for ten hours, ask yourself if you have labored. I pray that every attack of sleep is destroyed from somebody this morning. Amen. As a matter of fact, as we speak, there are, some, it is, so, there are some people are going to wake up from bed by nine and then they discover that healing campaign at uh, commanding the morning at past. The Lord spoke to me. He said, there are times the body will lost after sleep. Yes, yes. You know, many times when you pray against the spirit of lust, a lot of people think that spirit of lust is only against brothers and sisters and him. There are times your body begins to lust after sleep. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling before. You mm -hmm. sleep and you just want to keep sleeping. Mm -hmm. You have slept for quality time and then you want to keep sleeping. And most of the time, the extra sleep loads you with crazy dreams. You start, start dreaming that you fell from a tree. You start dreaming that somebody come and see something from you. Some yeah. stupid, some funny dreams. 
that is to know that your body is lost and you have had rest but you just want to keep sleeping yes you just and then if you, some people even call it enjoyment it's not enjoyment no some people say i just want to eat and sleep i just want to be eating and sleeping you you are you are you are burning off call oh, come on time is the greatest capital of destiny the moment you start sleeping more than required you are burning off capital you are burning off capital you are burning off the capital of your life you are burned no great achiever slept for 60 hours and made it no matter how big the prophecy was, wake up from slumber. Wake up from slumber. Wake up from slumber. Set an alarm. Set your devices. Be alert. Be alert. Wake up from slumber. I pray for you this morning. Receive strength. Receive strength. Receive strength. Receive strength. Receive. I'm speaking to us and God is already dropping my heart what we'll share tomorrow morning. Mm. I want us to be here, back here tomorrow morning. Between 6 and 7, we have commanding your day. God has something for us. Mm. Receive strength this morning. To you that says you are not as strong as excess. I want to say it doesn't matter the, dis the disparities in strength. You can still make it. Amen. You can still make it. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that made it is not because they were too strong. It's because they were smart. Receive grace. I receive. Receive grace. I receive. receive wisdom this morning. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Ha! Rekababo shadaba. yashata. Rekababo sataya mama. Come on, Jesus. Come on. See, there is a word you receive. And I just feel like it doesn't need too much prayer. Just, just go with this one. Just go with this one. I pray for those who came here sick this morning. Amen. I declare that you are healed in Amen. your body. You came appearing before the Lord this morning Amen. with a sickness in your body, with something you were afflicted with over the night. I speak for deliverance for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, amen. make your amen loud. Amen. I speak for deliverance. You're sick in any part of your body. I want you to lay your hands there. Jesus is here to heal you. Amen. You are sick in any part of your body. I want you to lay your hands there. Jesus is here right now to set you free Amen. I declare that you are free Amen. I declare that you are delivered Amen. you are emancipated from that trouble Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. I command the headache to disappear Amen. I command the general body listlessness to give way right now I declare healing over the headache I command your Amen. body parts to receive the strength of the Lord Amen. I speak life over muscles, tissues and tendons Amen. I speak the life of God in your blood Amen. and I declare healing over over every affliction in your Amen. blood. Let your liver jerk alive. Amen. I command your kidney to speak for the life of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that all the parts of your body as you listen to me this morning Amen. are receiving life. Are receiving life. Amen. Are receiving the strength of God this morning. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I declare that the word of God is blessed in your hearts this Amen. morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I bless you, Frankie. I bless you, Mildred. I bless you, Andra. I bless you. I bless you, Wase. Everybody that has been connected this morning, Doreen. It's a great day as we walk out today, as we walk in the light of the word. I bless you, Mama Christine. I declare the blessings of the Lord upon everybody connected. Amen. And I declare that by this word, we are positioned for great victory. By this word, we are positioned for great and mighty things. I bless you, Eno Tiku. I bless you, Frankie. I bless everybody that has been watching silently or commenting. But it will always be good to indicate your presence don't have to be a miracle thief i would always appreciate if you can indicate your presence because when god sees us all appear it's called an appearance it's not called a ghost presence it's an appearance and they grew from strength to strength each one of them that appeared before the lord so your presence is important when you appear we see you when you are a ghost you are not sin i declare that you are blessed all the same in the name of jesus Amen. for those of you sharing this channel sharing the good news of the lord here speaking of the great thing that God is doing through this woman of God, I declare blessings upon you today Amen. in the name of Jesus. May you Amen. be favored. Amen. May you be favored by the Lord. Amen. May you enjoy his grace today. Amen. And may this word be made flesh and dwell in your life. Amen. Walk in favor, walk in beauty. Walk with your head lifted. 
in the name of Jesus. For the Amen. Lord with us is mighty and one with God is majority. I want to say you're not going out alone. You're stepping out today as a host. Oh, you didn't hear. He's called the Lord God of hosts. So one with a host is more than just a host. So we are stepping out today knowing that the Lord is our shelter. The Lord is our defense. The Lord is our provider. The Lord is our hope. And the Lord is our righteousness. You are justified. Your yeah. sins are forgiven. Your very first time joining us here, your sins are forgiven. Walk in the light of your testimony. And one thing you should know is Jesus loves you. And the woman of God that steps out of bed every five a.m. loves you beyond reasonable doubt. And that's why I'm here every morning or, ex or, or most mornings to pray with us. I love you and we will be together again. Once more, your favorite woman of God. It's such a sharp day, an exciting one, and a joyful one. We're going to get more testimonies coming up by the day. But for now, we've got to call it a day. I love you. I love you. I love you. Every one of you. I love you with the love of the Lord. Yeah. I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you. Frank Zuma Seychelles, I love you. 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 What's in the UK? I love you. I love you. I love you. See you in just a bit.